time to go to church. It's time to go to church. You ain't gonna find nothing in the world. It's time to go to church. Stop running. It's time to go to church. Let the church sing. It's time to go to church. Families, as we celebrate Mother's Day today, I want to leave you with this thought. While on the cross, Jesus looked at his mother who was standing next to the disciple whom he loved. John was his name. And Jesus says to his mother, woman, there is your son. And to his disciple, he says, here is your mother. What Jesus was doing was ensuring that his mother would be taken care of just like his mother ensured that he would be taken care of. Throughout his life, everyone that Jesus encountered wanted something from Jesus. Whether it was a blessing, a miracle, a revelation, or even his death, but not his mother. She didn't want anything from Jesus. She only wanted the best for Jesus. And I believe that there, that is the ultimate desire and the most earnest prayer of a mother that her children get the best and become the best that they can be. And I am sure that as I look around at this tapestry of mothers in this building today, that every mother in here has prayed that prayer. Lord, I just want the best for my children. Even if that means I have to go lacking, even if I have to suffer, even if I have to go without, even if I have to give up some of my dreams and some of my aspirations, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make for the sake of my children. So today we pause and we pay homage to all the mothers that are here and all of the mothers who have helped make us who we are. Whether they are still with us or whether they have gone on to be with the Lord, we say thank you, Lord, for our mothers. We recognize, we recognize the fact that if there were no mothers, there would be no us. We are who we are because of our relationships and dependence on our mothers. We may not have always seen eye to eye, but we are better because of the lessons that they taught. And we thank you mothers, most of all for those moments that you prayed for us. We thank you for those moments when you sought the Lord on our behalves because we couldn't seek him for ourselves. We thank you, mothers, for those moments when you called our names and you asked the Lord, Lord, if you can't take care of me, please take care of my children. We thank you, mothers, for those times when you didn't mind going down on bended knees and calling our names. Thank you for those moments when you sought the Lord because the fact that we are still here is indication that God hears and answers the cries of a praying mother. And I know that there's somebody here today who can still hear mama praying for you. I know that there's somebody here today who is thankful even with tears rolling down your eyes. You are thankful for your mama even when she made you do some things you didn't want to do. Even when she wouldn't let you do some things that you wanted to do. Even when you didn't understand what she was telling you then, but you can understand it now because the songwriter said, we'll understand it better by and by. Thank you, mother for all that you have done and continue to do. We will continue to pray for you from the youngest to the oldest because you are the glue that keeps the family together. And we thank God for you and we give you praise and we give you glory and honor today for it is due unto you. 
So come on in here, Calvary, and let's give God some praise and glory for all of the mothers. Let's bless his name for what they have done for us and the sacrifices they have made. And let's have some church. When mama bowed her head and knelt down in fervent prayer, of Jesus for she knew that he'd meet her there oh she thanked him for health and for strength